Hello parents of the students of 6S. I'm Mr. Supple, but you can call me Dan. I'm proud to be teaching your children this year and excited to assist them as they complete primary school. To start, as this school is on Ngunnawal land, I would like to acknowledge them as the traditional owners, past, present, and future. Now, what is literacy in the 21st century? Literacy is constantly changing depending on the demands of current society. ACARA, the Australian Curriculum Reporting Agency, that report that 21st century literacy entails writing, listening, creating, viewing, speaking, and reading. These skills can be used in a range of contexts from digital to traditional. Print, visual, and digital literacies are described as multiliteracies by the New London Group. Multiliteracies are broadly described as visual, linguistic, oral, spatial, and gestural. These multiliteracy or modes are ways to draw lots of information at once. Visual literacy is everything that you see with your eyes. Linguistic literacy is all things that are written. Oral is all things that you say and hear. Spatial literacy is knowing when, where, how, and why things are written. And gestural literacy is reading body language, body language and register of the voice that is being used or heard. Through understanding and developing the skills to effectively use the multiple modes that are discussed by the New London Group, the students of my class will not only become more literate, literate and successful in class, but also more approachable and successful in social environments, as they will have an understanding of body language, reception of feelings and emotion, along with developed vocabulary and communication skills. Peter Freebody and Alan Luke created a model that allows all literacy users to get the most out of everything that they read, watch, hear and create. Through the methods of being a text user, analyst, participant, and a code breaker, my students will learn to get the most from all things literacy. The way that I will be teaching these skills is through a foundation of learning in reading groups. My students will read a book as a group with similar level readers and discuss the four separate areas of the Roth Four Resources model. Along with a worksheet provided to them, these will then be discussed as a class. As a text user, the reader uses information provided in the text. As a code breaker, the reader can understand the meaning of the text and, infer and has inferential understanding as well. As a text analyst, the reader looks at how the text affects them directly, also how it would affect other people reading it and why. As a text participant, the reader looks at what meaning they can gather from the text. Is it informational or is there a clear moral to the story? Once these activities have been performed and the students are capable of looking more closely at written and visual modes of literacy, we will begin a research inquiry unit where the students must choose a topic from a broad scope of influence. Examples include natural disasters, natural landmarks, man-made landmarks, and so on. Once the topic is chosen, they will have the opportunity to research and find their own information and create an information report that could answer basic questions about the topic, along with a few specifically written and more difficult questions that I'll provide them. These questions will be written at each student's individual level to allow them the greatest chance of success while still providing a learning outcome. Through teaching literacy this way, I will get to observe their skills, grow and redirect them when they've gone off track. Using Chromebooks and Google Pages, I will be equipped with the tools to successfully open whole class discussions with online observation and allow them privacy with online teacher assistance directly from me. This comes together to create a space of learning and confidence in literacy building activities. Thank you very, very much for listening to my short video about what 21st century, century literacy is and how it will be used in my classroom. I'm very excited to be teaching your children and I can't wait to see their skills grow.